Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a James Avery video. And throughout this video, you'll see me exchanging some jewelry, getting some new jewelry, some Christmas presents. I'm going to show you all kinds of things. I started filming this in January, actually January 6th, and today is actually May the 6th. So this video has been a long time coming, but I want to share with y'all what I got for Christmas and what I have gotten for my birthday and what I've gotten for Mother's Day as well. So let's get started. And now heading into James Avery. I have several different things that I need to, to get done in here. So I will show you what I'm doing after I've done it. First that I got at the Goodwill for $4.99. And then this is the necklace that I rent by putting in the wrong solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that little bonnet. They do have a service where you can um, replace it for half price. It's, when I put it in the wrong solution, it stripped the oxidation and um, they could send it off for $10, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and pay the extra and just go ahead and replace that charm. You can see the difference between the one that I rent and the brandy new one. I've seen some funny things like that's the same thing. Yellow ones. This one is the one that I rent, and this is the brand new one. Huge difference between the two. Back at James Avery, I had laid out all the items that I wanted to share with y'all, and then I realized I had several pieces that I didn't get clean. Two necklaces, a bracelet, and a initial. So I'm gonna get those cleaned, and then I can share with you all my James Avery jewelry that I have my quest to keep my jewelry all nice and clean i've rent two more charms the queen bee they're having to order and they have a replacement butterfly huge difference between the new butterfly and the one that i've rent this has truly been an adventure getting all my james avery jewelry cleaned and shined up and replaced and mood out everything i've done it all i've uh, been here to the james avery store about five times and it looks like i'm gonna have to come back the lady was able to order me a queen bee charm it is on back order and she said it could take up to if not longer than two weeks and that they would call me as soon as it comes in so um we'll just hang out and, and wait on it this will be my last trip into james avery for a while uh after two uh, short days my queen bee charm came in and so i'm gonna go in there and get it picked up and when i get home i'll share with you what all i've been doing i am here at the james avery store for my birthday my daughter is giving me some money to buy me some new charms so i'm gonna head in and they pick me out some some new charms for my bracelet i am now back home i have just picked up my bracelets for getting my brand new a birthday and a mother's day charms put on there but i wanted to share with you all the things that i have gotten what i got for christmas and what i got for my birthday and mother's day we get these catalogs at the house from james avery and it's kind of like um you know when you're a little kid and you would get the big catalogs like for sears or jc pennies at christmas time and you would go through it and circle that's what i feel like when these come in this is the newest one the mother's day 2023 catalog and uh, i just go through them and I, I circle what i might want and then I'll, I'll go on the website and see if there's other things or go to the store but i like to look through those when they come in and um just to see i do keep all of these each charm comes with a uh, a little baggie different um anyway i have them all they have their little they have their little bags in there the, the lady did tell me um it's best to keep them in their bags that way they don't oxidize as as fast so i have all of these have my receipts so some of the um some of the jewelry I, i'm just going to share with you all the jewelry so if you remember, you've been a friend for a while. I found some James Avery at the Goodwill there in Huntsville. Uh, this is the bracelet. 
I recognized it as soon as I saw it in the jewelry case and it was full of charms, but they were not James Avery charms, although this one did have two James Avery charms on it. So I took off all the, the other charms and, um, I'll share those other, the two charms that were on here with y'all in just a few minutes. This, this bracelet is a medium and it is too small for me. So eventually I will probably give this one to my granddaughter. I have this. I purchased, I, I purchased this or my daughter bought it for me. I can't really remember to go with this beautiful K. However, if you put it on this brace, on this necklace, it will eventually end up like that. And it looks horrible. So I don't wear this. If I'm going to wear this, I put it on one of my other necklaces. This is just absolutely beautiful. Next, I have my jewelry necklace. Uh, my, not my jewelry, my Jesus necklace. That's what I call this one. This is the one I wear the most. Can't tell if I'm, I'm sharing it backwards. Okay. This is the one that I wear the most. It has the, the fish and the blessed on it. It's a perfect length for me and I do wear it the most. If I want to wear my K, I will just slip these two charms off and put my K on there. So that's the one I wear the most. I have a Texas necklace, one that has my Texas charms on it, which is this one. This one fits me a little too tight and I have not wore it lately. It's got this Texas charm, this blue bonnet and the y'all. Y'all saw me getting the blue bonnet and the y'all replaced. They were um, replaced for half price. The um, These two charms were $54 each, so I got them re replaced for $27 each. So I thought that was, that was good that I was able to get those replaced. I was so upset with myself um, that I had rent those. I just thought I was going to be out all that money, but they do have that guarantee on their jewelry. So there's that. And then next... I have this bangle bracelet. I've had this for a very long time. Um, it was one of the first bracelets that I got. One of my boyfriends bought this for me for Mother's Day for my birthday one year. It has the queen bee and the butterfly. Y'all saw me getting those two replaced. The queen bee was $74. So I replaced it for $37 and the butterfly was $54, so it was $27 to replace it. So I got those replaced. And then I just showed y'all this bracelet, the Goodwill bracelet. And it had two retired charms on it that I had taken off. One of them is this angel. And one of them is this. So I did get those taken off. You have to get new ring, jump rings put on them. The jump ring replacements are $5 each. So I did that in January. I had I had them taken off of that necklace, off that bracelet. They put new jump rings. And the other day when I went to put them on this bracelet, they would not fit. So I took this bracelet and the two charms back to James Avery. And they put larger jump rings on this these two charms so today when i picked it up i was able to just easily slip those on so those four charms on that one next are some of the okay next is my mama bracelet the, these are brace uh, charms that my daughters have bought for me here's a, a look at that bracelet these are just fun mama charms All right, y'all see in a little hole right here. I had already spent $274 and I still needed one more charm, but I'm just going to leave it like it is. And, uh, you know, I'll go back and get another charm to, to fill in that little gap. So 
disregard the little gap for right now. I'll get that filled in. For Christmas, my daughter got me the dog mom. I think that is so cute. It was $56. She also got me the army charm. That was $66. And she got me a taco truck one. That's on a different bracelet. So that was the two right now that she got me for Christmas. I also have an Oakley charm, a lab. For Mother's Day, she got me this plant mom. It is uh, silver and bronze. The plant mom charm was $66. And she got me this one that says, Jesus loves me. And on the back of it, it says, this, this I know. And uh, let's see, the, the plant mom one, I'm sorry, I purchased that one. It was $66. The Jesus loves me charm was $46. Hold on, I dropped it. And so that is it for for this one. The other ones have just um, I've accumulated over the years of them buying me all my sweet little charms. There's another look at it. I think this this happy birthday one is what kicked it off. They purchased me that one year for my birthday. So that is that charm bracelet, all my mom charms. And then I have my Texas charm bracelet, which is this one. So for a Mother's Day and for my birthday, my daughter purchased me this Whataburger a ketchup one, Whataburger what a burger <laughs> um, originated in Texas. And uh, so she got me that one. And she got me a, this one made in Texas. The made in Texas charm was $56. And the ketchup charm was $86. But... Here it is, I got a cactus, taco truck, the ketchup, the Texas, made in Texas, a taco charm, a howdy charm, and I believe for Christmas 2021, she got me this one, which is a little postcard, and I kind of have it on the side all by itself, um, kind of like, you know, if you get like a Tiffany necklace, it has the charm on the back of your neck. I kind of did that with this. So here is this one. And eventually I will fill in these two gaps. But for right now, it's all evened out. And I love it. I love all my James Avery. Uh, if you live in Texas or in a southern state and there's James Avery, this is something good to start um, a collecting. It's something that your family can get for you when they're not sure what to get you. They can always find you a charm to put on your jewelry. It's just a lot of fun to collect. My granddaughter, they started her bracelets when she was little and we could add to those. Um, I believe she has two. My oldest daughter has a charm bracelet. It's just fun. I think one of my nieces has a charm bracelet and some some people will put charms on both sides so i think hers hers is so full i do believe she's got charms on both sides of each you see how mine just have one charm well hers has another charm up here on the top so those can be worth a lot a lot a lot of money once you start putting you know double charms on a ring Anyway, I like mine. I'm excited for them. They're so much fun, and it's just something to, to collect. There's 
tons and tons of charms that you can get anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed this video seeing my little jewelry um that my family likes to collect for me um throughout the years i've probably had had this collection going for maybe six or seven years some years we haven't added to it but the last few years i have been trying to um you know or my daughter really she's the one that has been um collecting uh, for me as we go through the holidays my birthday for christmas for mother's day she'll try to get me a charm or so anyway guys that is it that is all uh, if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below become a part of my friends here on youtube and i will see each of you in my next video bye guys